I wish my head could forget what my eyes have seen in 32 years of firefighting. Every run you go on, you, you just never know. So, you know, you're glad we're getting a run right now. Our district is statistically one of the worst places on earth. Heavy drug use, a lot of theft, high murder rate, high uh, infant mortality rate. For this month alone, we have over 500. Uh, and that's just this month. I've been in, in nights where we had 10 fires in one night. Right there, times 30 a night, times 30 years. That's how you burn a city down. Uh, 95% of what I do is arson. Very rarely do we have a legitimate fire. We're at war against arsonists. We're at war against the people that just set fires for profit. We're at war against people that just don't understand it. Crazy, you know. I'm 45 years old, just starting out in a new career where a guy 20 years younger should be doing this job. I was 17 when my father died from cancer, possibly complications from a fire. Dave is the stabilizing force around here. If you live in a community in which you work, you have an opportunity to see things differently. You have an opportunity to try and and, and make change. You're doing this for the people that are alive, for the good people. So I can regroup. Keep it moving. That's the best I can do. Close your eyes. Feel heat all around you. Not have no clue as to where you're going. And then say, okay, I got to fight this. That's fair. Until you put your life up as collateral for another life. You don't know what life saving is about. My buddy Doogie. Just acting like a couple of fools, having a good time, we're good buds. A lot of things happened to us. He thought he had this one beat. He turned and ran, and the wall as it came down caught up to him in the street. Uh, right now, he is still paralyzed from about the belly button down. You see a lot of uh, things that have happened to Detroit. But I'm one of those guys or whatever that I'm not gonna turn my back on Detroit. I work here, I live here, and I'm gonna stay here, so. What a lot of people don't see, even the residents that live here, is that Detroit is in a rebirthing mode. We believe in Detroit, that's why we planted ourselves down here. We're gonna turn this thing around, I know we will. And we gotta do the right thing for the citizens. We have to deliver a service that people want and need and deserve. I'm gonna hang in there, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna do the best I can. And that's what the fire department does. They put those fires out. And hopefully we can put a little water on that attitude and change that as well. <laughs>